Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams International, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, and we meet on Sundays in the mornings, and then midweek services in, on Wednesdays in the evenings. And this morning, I like to capture my thoughts with the word, service with a smile. In Genesis chapter 39, from 19 to 21, there is a, a powerful story of the, you know, Joseph, um, he had come from a place where he was wearing a coat of many colors and, um, and that coat of many colors was very powerful, you know, and he had, you know, one way or the other, by the wickedness of his brothers, uh, found his way to Egypt. And in Egypt, he had been posted into Potiphar's house where he began to serve. And then also too, from the uh, Potiphar's uh, house, he was also, by false accusation, landed in jail, landed in the dungeon in Pharaoh's palace. And there he was also serving the principal jailer. Now, for me, there are some very powerful truths that need to be investigated. Um, first of all, you know, this boy was much treated by his father and all those things and maltreated by his brothers. So Joseph had every reason to be a very bitter, very angry person. And he had every reason also to be somebody who would be obnoxious to everyone because life had not dealt fairly with him. And who says life is always fair? And that's one of the things. I mean, adversity had, had uh, cocooned him in, in a shell that looks as if it was a, there was no open end and there was no uh, light at the end of the tunnel of his, of his adversity. If you look at it very carefully, from one bad thing to the other. In, in, in Dothan, he had been beaten up by his brethren, stripped off his coat of many colors, torn to smithereens, and then dumped in a pit, taken and sold as a slave. If you look at the, the chronology of his narrative, uh, you see different, different, different forms of adversity. Pain, bitterness, I mean, all sorts of things. Life had really been rough with him. And then he lands in a prison. And in prison, even before prison, he lands in somebody else's house. And all he was doing was serving. But guess what? It was his attitude in service that caught my eye. He served with his heart. He served with a smile. He served in Potiphar's house to such an extent that Potiphar even reposed every trust in him. And then even in jail, he served with a smile. You know, sometimes we can be serving with complaints. We can be serving with bitterness. We can be serving with anger. We can be serving as if we've been, we've been forced. Mind you, there's always three Ds that you need to look at in service. Duty, duress, and desire. That means duty, you are bound to do it. So you have to do it. Duress, you are forced to do it. But desire, you seek to do it willingly and with your whole heart. And guess what? For me, even though Joseph kept saying, that I'm not, I shouldn't be here. But you know what? Once I'm here, I'll make myself useful. I'll make myself serve. And that service was with the desire. That was why when he walked to Pharaoh's presence, he said, look for a servant. Somebody who will serve your dream with a desire. Somebody who would watch over your dream and look after your dream. And make sure the person serves your dream. That is what we are looking for. We are not looking for, um, we are not looking for um, uh, people who are under duress. We are not looking for people who are their duty bound. No, 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 no. Serve with a desire. Serve with a desire to, to, to do that. And that is service with a smile. And whatever thing you find yourself, wherever area you find yourself, Learn to serve with a smile. For that is what catches the eye 
of people. And long after they are gone from your presence, they'll remember you like the butler remembered Joseph. Service with a smile.